the following module discusses infant mortality and its determinants the importance of studying infant mortality and the factors affecting infant mortality are that it is a sensitive indicator of the existence and the quality of medical and health facilities in a community also the age distribution is affected by any changes in the infant mortality rate which is generally also affected by any changes on mortality more generally in this module you will come to learn the definition of infant mortality the measure of infant mortality rate as well as be able to distinguish between terms such as neonatal deaths and post neonatal deaths the calculation of the infant mortality rate depends on the number of deaths and also the number of live births in any particular calendar year factors affecting the infant mortality rate are considered in terms of endogenous and exogenous factors which cover the range of factors from biological factors to social cultural economical and environmental factors affecting infant mortality which have a particularly important impact on infant mortality i am dr cp prakasham retired professor from international institute for population sciences mumbai module 5 infant mortality and its determinants in this module we will learn infant mortality and its determinants number 1 importance of study of infant mortality number 2 correction factor of infant mortality rate number 3 factors affecting infant mortality in this study imr is important because of several reasons one the imr is one of the most sensitive indicators of medical and health facilities in a community number 2 it measures the mortality in that segments of population where it is extremely high and to which the expectation of life at birth is very sensitive number 3 any re reduction in mortality is generally affects the imr which in turn influences the age distribution the conventional measure of imr does not provide accurately the risk of dying during the first year of life imr so defined however does not measure the chances of death in a cohort of babies born in that year as some of the infant deaths occurring in the year corresponding to the birth cohort of preceding year it is that all the infant deaths in the in a birth cohort does not occur in the same year if the distribution of infant deaths by the year of birth is available the rate of infant mortality for a given cohort can be calculated definition of infant mortality infant mortality rate imr is defined as the ratio of infant deaths deaths in the first year of life in a year to the number of live births in that year infant mortality rate equals to number of deaths in the age group 0 to 1 year after births in a year whole divided by total number of live births in that year multiplied by 1000 infant deaths calculated in imr are generally divided into two categories namely neonatal deaths that occur before completion of 1 month of age and the post neonatal deaths that occur between first and 11 completed months neonatal mortality rate nnmr equals to neonatal deaths deaths during 0 to 1 months whole divided by births during that period multiplied by 1000 post neonatal mortality rate equals to pnmr equals to post neonatal deaths 
deaths during 1 to 11 months whole divided by births during that period multiplied by 1000. Hence, infant mortality rate IMR equals to NNMR plus PNMR. Correction factor of IMR. To calculate the correction factor for infant mortality rate for a given calendar year, following information is required. Number 1. Total number of registered infant deaths in a particular area during in a calendar year. Number 2. Total number of registered live births in that area during same calendar year. In the health centers, data on births, deaths during one year has been recorded. With this, it is possible to calculate correct IMR. Infant mortality rate calculation depends upon A. Number of deaths B. Number of live births in that calendar year. Formula given about can be corrected as follows. Year. First year, second year. Live births B1, B2. Infant deaths for the same, same births that is DSY1, DSY2. Previous year births DPY1, DPY2. Numerator separation method IMR equals to D2 multiplied by 1 minus F whole divided by B2 plus F multiplied by D2 divided by B1 whole multiplied by 1000 where D2 equals to DSY2 plus DPY2 F equals to DPY2 divided by D2 that is DSY2 equals to number of infant deaths to the second year births dpy2 number of infant deaths to the previous year of birth denominator separation method d2 whole divided by 1 minus f b2 plus f multiplied by b1 whole divided multiplied by 1000 where d2 equals to dsy2 plus dpy2 f equals to dpy2 divided by d2 b1 equals to number of births in the first year b2 equals to number of births in the second year. The numerator adjustment method in infant deaths during a year is divided into two groups namely infant deaths occurring from the birth cohort of the same calendar year and the infant deaths coming from the birth cohort of the previous year. Through the help of separation factor from these two estimates the mortality of the selected year can be calculated. The denominator adjustment method can be adjust the de denominator that is live births so that it matches the cohort of the numerator that is infant deaths. Example, example below we can calculate the correction factor and correct estimation of infant mortality. Table 1, data for calculation of infant mortality for Japan 1994 is given. Computation IMR 1994 equals to D2 divided by B2 multiplied by 1000 equals to 5161 whole divided by 1238328 equals to 4.25 per 1000 live births where D2 equals to DSY2 plus DPY2 equals to 4272 plus 989 equals to 5161 F equals to dpy2 divided by d2 equals to 989 whole divided by 5161 equals to 0.1916 numerator adjustment method imr equals to 5161 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.1916 whole divided by 1238328 plus 0 0.1916 multiplied by 5161 whole divided by 1188282 multiplied by 1000. This gives IMR equals to 4148.9229 divided by 1238328 plus 1012.0721 whole divided by 1188282 multiplied by 1000 equals to 4.205 equals to 4.21. Denominator separation method IMR equals to 5181 whole divided by 1 minus 0 0.1961 multiplied by 1238328 plus 
पॉइंट वन नाइन सिक्स वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन वन एट एट टू एट टू मल्टीप्लाइड होल मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थाउजेंड ईक्व टू फोर पॉइंट टू टू रिजल्ट इंफेंट मोर्टालिटी कन्वेंशनल मेथड फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव इंफेंट मोर्टालिटी न्यूमरेटर अडजस्ट मेथड फोर पॉइंट टू वन इंफेंट मोर्टालिटी डेनामेटर अडजस्टमेंट मेथड फोर पॉइंट टू टू by applying numerator separation method and denominator adjustment method calculated imr found to be lower than conventional method these two methods will take into consideration of errors in death registration and birth registration the above data refers to japan country where birth and death registration system is complete and accurate numerator and denominator adjustment methods are suitable for the developing countries where the birth and death registration is in incomplete and limited factors affecting infant mortality according to burja pichard the infant death can be divided into two distinct categories namely endogenous infant deaths and exogenous infant deaths endogenous deaths are those deaths which occur due to causes related to the formation of the fetus in the womb and are therefore mainly biological in nature the biological factors affecting neonatal infant mortality rate are the age of the mother birth order the period of spacing between births interlife birth interval prematurity weight at birth and occurrence of multiple births exogenous causes are social cultural economic and environmental factors that affect infant mortality especially during the post neonatal period post neonatal deaths are mainly due to various epidemics causes by communicable diseases both of the uh, digestive system such as the diarrhea and enteritis and of the respiratory system such as bronchitis and pneumonia and faulty feeding practices and poor hygiene the underlying environmental factors including overcrowding crowding congestion insanitary insanitary surroundings lack of proper sunlight and fresh air to understand the role of endogenous and exogenous factors in determining infant mortality rate is important in countries where infant mortality rate is very low a higher proportion of infant deaths occur during neonatal period because being developed they develop in countries have been successful in almost completely eliminating the environmental factors responsible for such deaths the main causes of infant mortality in these countries are therefore mainly genetic or biological in nature one on the other hand in countries where infant mortality rate are high the majority of infant deaths occurs after the neonatal stage and is due to mainly to environmental factors Burja pictured by studying various countries data on cause of infant mortality by age at death observed that the exogenous deaths in the first year of life are distributed by age and manner independent of the level of mortality so it is possible to estimate the level of endogenous and exogenous mortality explicitly from the age distribution of infant deaths even if the cause of death statistics are not available summary factors affecting infant mortality one biological factors two economic factors three social and cultural factors four medical and pathological factors imr neonatal and post neonatal mortality relation endogenous among the biological factors affecting fetal and neonatal infant mortality rate the important ones are the age of the mother the birth order interlife birth interval that is space between births prematurely weight at birth and the fact of multiple births it has been generally observed that fetal and neonatal mortality rates are higher at the younger ages of the mother that is below the age of 19 at first parity and for the first birth order these mortality rates start declining up to the age of 29 of mother and at the second and third parity and then again increase with higher ages of mother 
higher parity and higher birth order. Exogenous causes, social, cultural, economic and environmental factors are also found to affect infant mortality, especially during the post-neonatal period. Post-neonatal deaths are therefore mainly due to various epidemic causes by communicable diseases both of the digestive system such as diarrhea and enteritis and of the respiratory system such as bronchitis and pneumonia as well as by faulty feeding practices and poor hygiene. Post-neonatal deaths are therefore mainly due to various epidemic causes by communicable diseases both of the digestive system such as diarrhea and enteritis and of the respiratory system such as bronchitis and pneumonia as well as by faulty feeding patterns and poor hygiene. The underlying environment factors including crowding and congestion, insanitary surroundings, lack of proper sunshine and fresh air. In countries where infant mortality rate are very low, a higher pro proportion that is more than two-thirds of infant deaths occur during the neonatal stage because being developed they have been successful in almost comple uh, completely eliminating the environmental factors responsible for such deaths. Questions 1. Define infant and post-neonatal and neonatal mortality rates. 2. Discuss numerator and denominator method in calculation of IMR. 3. Discuss the determinants of infant mortality and its relation to neonatal and post-neonatal mortality. These are the following references extensively given. Some of them are very important to read. इसमें एक बैकड्रॉप में जो अंडर न्यूट्रिशन छुपा हुआ है हम कहते हैं कि 35 परसेंट ऑफ़ दी ओवरऑल अंडर फाइव डेथ्स आई मीन चिल्ड्रन डाइ इन द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ़ अंडर न्यूट्रिशन बिकॉज़ अंडर न्यूट्रिशन डजन्ट किल इट्स सेल्फ नो बट इन जो निमोनिया डायरिया से जो बच्चे मरते हैं उसमें मेजोरिटी ऑफ़ दम आर अंडर नरिश बेसिकली नब्बे के दशक में भारत में पाँच साल से कम उम्र के बच्चों की मृत्यु दर प्रति हजार एक सौ पंद्रह थी जो दो हजार दस में घटकर उनसठ रह गई है ये इस बात को दर्शाता है कि भारत ने इस क्षेत्र में सराहनीय प्रगति